Hey there, Empower 30 GSP. Welcome to another coaching video. This is actually a part of <clears throat> being a healing video, energy healing video, because I am guiding you, coaching you to acknowledge um, your triggers and panic attacks, you know, these kinds of uh, physical, mental, emotional symptoms that are coming up as you are healing from narcissistic abuse, emotional abuse, experiences um, as an empath, highly sensitive person. Uh, so this might be very familiar already to you. You know that you have been going through this and you're looking for help and remedies and information um, how to stop this. So I have gone through this very, very painfully, lots of times. And that is why I wanted to give you guys this video. I have had this topic in my mind a lot, you know, because I have experienced this myself um, so many times. So I was supposed to <clears throat> make this video actually a long time ago. Um, some time ago, but um, I felt that today would be a good time because I feel that I'm more aligned to be recording this video now. So, you know, what I want you to understand is that, you know, you're always enough. We're always enough, no matter what somebody says, no matter what some toxic person has said to us and how they treated us you know and you have to have your own boundaries your own opinions your own rights you know your own <laughs> essence your own light you know the whole package that you are is a sensitive being a highly sensitive being who feels a lot every single day and who has a lot of thoughts every single day so you know, you need to start from that self-acceptance and know that you are enough and that energy alone will start to keep you more safe. You know, as, the, as, as you are doing the healing work every single day, because it's everyday work, we have to be healing every day. We have to be acknowledging ourselves every single day in our lives. We have to listen to our bodies and to know, you know, how we're feeling and what we need and what we want and what, what we deserve. So we need, to, we, we need to know these things and we can build better boundaries as we know these things, as we know ourselves better. And, you know, therefore, as it is a process, the more you can just, you know, feel your body and know yourself and be present in the present moment with yourself every day. Taking these moments for yourself to really maybe do a body scan, for example, you know, feel all of your organs, all of your cells and send them healing light, for example, or meditate or just take moments as you are like sitting on the floor or you know lying down or whatever you're doing but you are relaxing your body your mind your soul everything about you you're completely relaxed and you can be sending your body lots of healing healing energy you know the light that you are the love that you are you are cultivating that energy as you are taking these these moments, these times for yourself in a day. So that is one way, <clears throat> one powerful way to, you know, be more in tune with yourself, um, to connect with your body and everything that you are and, you know, cultivate that self-love, self-care routine and energy. And therefore it is more important more easy to learn to love yourself as you do these kinds of things you love yourself you accept yourself you accept your feelings emotions everything that are you know whatever comes through that you know that you can handle it you know 
and well for me yoga has been very beneficial especially yin yoga has been so beneficial um, to really help me heal all of these things and of course meditation as well but they are very similar so um, for me they are really going hand in hand uh, but it's just the key is you know that you can just calm yourself down that your nervous system is calming down and you're feeling yourself more and um, you know getting to know yourself maybe if, if if the fact is that you don't even know yourself really um, so all of this helps as you do this daily work and there therefore you will be more balanced you will be more in your own energy and you will be more safe from all kinds of outside <clears throat> energies outside factors uh, you know like toxic people for example you will have this balance and peace within that uh, you know it, it will grow as you do this work every day it's like a muscle like everything grows as, as we do them we practice things or we have hobbies or we go to the gym and build our muscles everything grows when we practice it every day you know not some not just sometimes but you know have these habits self-care routines goals habits time for yourself not for other people only for yourself and so I've learned that this is really the way how to start building it. You know, the safety and the strength within you. And um, then it's a lot easier to handle, you know, whatever comes across. And you will also be more high vibe. So you will be naturally attracting better things into your life as you are more high vibe, high vibrational in your own authentic energy instead of other people's toxic energy and that is also a big factor in this process that you will attract more of those good good experiences into your life you know like people who are actually healthy for you instead of toxic because it all all starts with you first that you have peace of mind, you have balance, you have self-love, self-care routines in place, you have your goals in place. And these are the things you know that a toxic person wants to take away from you, but you can take them back and you can start building them day by day and you can start learning new things and you can take time for yourself and you know you you can cultivate your health you can cultivate your your happiness your peace of mind your your health you know anything that you want to manifest and attract and create in this life you can start work to work on it you can start working on it every single day and um if you think that somebody will stop you, please know that that is just an illusion, you know. You need to take your, take your own power back and that's it, basically. That, that is really where it all begins, that you take your own power back first and start working on it. So if you have been having those, like, PTSD symptoms, you know, any kinds of negative symptoms um, regarding the abuse that you have experienced, um, childhood trauma, you can overcome all of them, you can heal all of them, but it's up to you that you just need to start doing this work to really focus on, you know, just 
being present with yourself, just cultivating that peace and happiness and love within you. You know, they, they don't do that. You know, these toxic people, if they did this work as well, you know, they would not be toxic, but they don't do that. So <laughs> it is your responsibility to take care of yourself yourself and you know no one no one else can do that for you if you come to me if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, i can guide you i can coach you i can help you i can listen to you i can support you forward uh and i can definitely help you heal and and transform your life for good but in the end you are your own healer you are your own hero you have the power over your, over your own life and over anything, you know, anything, everything that happens in your life. So don't forget that, no matter what, uh, what some, some toxic person says to you or said. Uh, so, yeah, so this is so powerful because, you know, this healing work, cultivating that peace, it will help you cure and heal those panic attacks for good. You know, and like I said, if you're interested in working with me, we can go through this process. If you are having trouble, you're struggling with, you know, any kinds of symptoms, I can coach you, I can guide you forward so that you can heal them. I can give you the tools. Uh, but yeah, I'm just checking my notes here today, so... Um, so just remember that you want to come from peace. You don't want to be coming from <clears throat> that anxiety, you know, negative energy. That is the toxic energy. That is the toxic, toxic person energy is the negative energy. And you are love and light. You want to come from your own natural, peaceful energy, you know, and they are completely opposites, but you know, just remember that they are responsible for their own energy and you are responsible for your own energy. And you don't have to let them trigger you in any way. You don't have to let them give their toxic energy to you. Because I have just experienced this so many times ever since I was a child. And I have been so fed up with it and I have been looking for answers, looking for tools, looking for solutions, looking for healing, looking for guidance. And that is why I'm just now recording this video so that I can <laughs> give this to you. So really it's all about, you know, just coming from that peace, that love energy that you are. Maybe use choose again method, you know, I release this, I breathe it out and I choose love. Maybe you want to affirm, you know, I choose love. You want to say it out loud. I release this toxic energy. I breathe it out. I choose love instead. I choose peace. I choose balance. I choose happiness. I choose joy. I choose abundance. I choose miracles. I choose opportunities. I choose amazing things because I am an amazing beautiful person as a sensitive being and I deserve the best and so maybe you want to use these affirmations as you're doing the breath work for example that is that is one way I, I really recommend this um, maybe mix it with a meditation you know however you want to do it but I recommend these kinds of habits and tools that you can use the breath and affirmations and also meditation and you know you can affirm to yourself like i'm not going to take this it's their energy i noticed it yes but i don't have to take it it's theirs not mine i don't give them my reaction i am safe i deep uh, <laughs> i breathe deeply The breath is a gift from God. So remember that. 
um, I focus on self-love and I move my body like you know let's say you're having a panic attack right now if you move your body it will help because you know everything is energy and it's only energy so if you start to move your body or for example if, if you just want to breathe it out and you just want to meditate and you know shift the energy towards something better you know something high vibe like joy laughter smiling love peace you know these these things uh, when you can shift that energy some way you know like for example put on some favorite music and, and do some dancing for example or go for a walk or for a run or whatever you like to do as exercising you know when you're doing this it will help you it will help you release all of that all of that stress away from your body you know because remember that everything is energy so um, it's 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 not anything that you really need to take so seriously and this is what I learned that I was taking my symptoms too seriously and the more we take these toxic people and toxic energy too seriously they just have more power and they take our power away and do you want to give your power away no i don't think so so no the, the key is that we claim our own personal power and that we don't give it away anymore never again to these toxic people so this is so important this is this is like i'm talking golden stuff here you know because i have really spent a lot of time in in, in finding out about these things to really understanding and really learning about these things because this is so important i was so suffering with these kinds of symptoms uh, by myself and every time it happened i was like okay what is going on again and you know i was thinking to myself like why is this happening why am i going through this even though i understand that yes okay i'm sensitive i'm highly sensitive and i'm an empath but still you know because it was so hurtful it's it has been so hurtful and i was feeling like i'm going to die you know I, I have had this pain in my heart and I have had my right hand like going numb that I could not feel it and I, I got so scared you know if, if you had these symptoms you know what I'm talking about really that you know I just I got, I got so scared over my own health and I have really had to cultivate a lot of self-care um, self-love routines you know these kinds of peaceful routines that would actually serve me and my body and my soul and my higher self and my mind and all of my body my cells my organs you know because we're not robots we are spirits in human bodies with souls but we are never robots and especially as highly sensitive beings empaths you know we feel so much and we can carry other people's energies and toxic energies without even maybe even realizing it and we need to be doing this work every day to release all of that baggage and to acknowledge it and you know to know that it's happening and uh, especially with these kinds of symptoms we need to be healing them. There is no point in suffering. There is no point in living in negative energy. And you can always choose if you want better for yourself. So why not choose today? If you don't 
have these kinds of habits in place yet why not choose to start doing this right now this healing work because you deserve it you deserve it so I guess this is the, the main thing that I just wanted to tell you today um, you know start moving your body if you feel that it's coming up start moving your body in some way go out if, if, if it's a great weather sun is very good you know nature whatever is calm where you can be peaceful and by yourself and by water even better maybe take a shower um, do yin yoga do yoga power yoga is very good um, you know any kinds of exercise like I said um, personally I love to run I like heavy exercising uh, but anyway like you know whatever feels good to you but listen to your body and just you know acknowledge it that if you are having a panic attack any kinds of uh, these symptoms that make you feel uneasy in some way breathing and moving your body are very good ways to basically stop the whole thing and to reduce all of that cortisol as well because you don't want to be having that cortisol in your body that negative energy and you know being in that stressed out mode all the time that's not good that's not healthy so you want to get rid of it and you know this is where you can start and this is basically the root of things moving your body and breathing and cultivating self-love self self-care self routines and goals and you know knowing that it's not your energy it's it's theirs it's not yours you don't naturally cause yourself panic it's the things that happen to you that cause it so you need to be separating yourself from them So yeah, I guess this is what I wanted to share today in this video. Um, I was thinking to maybe make a uh, meditation hypnosis with this subject as well, uh, with NLP, shifting the whole energy. But I think I will do that separately, so possibly tomorrow. But yeah, so take these tools, take notes, and, you know, start doing this work. So much love and light, as always, and um, don't hesitate to get in touch if you want personal guidance and coaching, support with me one-on-one. -on -one. You can book my free call, all of the links are below to get in touch with me. So, to your healing. Namaste.